Taurus, welcome in for your love reading. Thank you ever so much once again for joining me. And we shall not waste no time, Taurus. Let's get right into this reading. Your first card is the Hermit. Then we have the Strength card, Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So with the Hermit, this is Virgo energy, not necessarily that you are connecting with a Virgo. But we do have a major arcana starting your reading. The Hermit is somebody who goes within. This is like somewhat even self-discovery. So for some of you, you may be discovering new things about yourself. But the Hermit is really, um, it, it's like a going within card. This is pretty much taking a break even from others, doing you for a minute, understanding self. Whatever you are doing in this hermit mode, in this time out for you, in this time of self-discovery here, Taurus, you've gained some sort of strength. Perhaps even in this hermit time, you are healing a broken heart. Okay, something that is coming from, this is an internal thing. Okay, um, it's, it's gaining strength. The strength card is Leo energy. As I said, please do focus on the energy rather than the star signs, unless you are connecting with that sign. But the strength card is, it's almost taming the beast. Perhaps some of you were um, kind of doing things that wasn't in line with who you are then. Okay, that, that could be something there. It, it, it's also like courage and as the card says, strength. Whatever you've done in this hermit mode, you've gained a lot. Um, a lot of skills even, a lot of internal skills and, and in terms of love, let's say that because I feel like for a lot of you, you've spent some time alone healing your broken heart, yeah? It's something along the lines of that. Maybe you are wanting to get into a relationship but there's old things that are still weighing heavy on you or were even. Those were about to be released. It's like a journey of self-discovery here. Taurus, Three of Pentacles. I often see this card as communication or working with somebody. Yeah. This is working with, it's, it's like cooperation, even team work. Yeah. You know, it's, this also almost even reminds me of a scene where, you know, this person who's drawing here cannot see this person, and this person here is telling them what to draw. So, it's that kind of teamwork and especially with that going within energy you cannot see the future you cannot see how it's it's going to go but you know you're planning that um in in this time of going within it's planning it finding a plan uh to move forward with setting even goals yeah but definitely a commitment here with the hierophant, hierophant being something traditional or a, a spiritual teacher even Perhaps there is somebody who you're working alongside that's kind of empowering you to gain strength or showing you perhaps they've been on the same journey as you. OK, it's almost as if you're striving to get here, Taurus, trying to get to your spiritual core. Then that could be the case. But there is let, we'll read on. <laughs> We've got the six of swords as well. It's moving away. Yeah, this may even be that you are moving away from traditions. It could go either way, couldn't it? Yeah. So for some of you, you're moving away from tra traditional tactics or something that you would usually do. It's no longer serving you. There's something new that you are wanting to discover. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep saying that word because I feel like there's something here that you are trying to discover about yourselves. Um, yes, the ace, aces are something new. And this is the birth of a new creative idea. As I said, for some of you, you're planning, you're writing out, you're setting goals. Yeah, and it's it's like putting those plans into action here with that Ace of Wands. Let's read on, Taurus. Let's see if there's anyone coming in for you. Or is there anyone there? Okay, there we are. We have the Seven of Cups. And what do we have here, sorry? We have the Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups. So lots of new ideas for us. Oh, wow, I just pretty much threw the cards there. Bear with, guys. Lots of new ideas and possibly even new opportunities opening for you. Was not expecting that Ten of Wands. Um, 
The Ten of Wands is a clear ending here. So something's coming to an end. Perhaps um, for those of you that was healing a broken heart, definitely some things that uh, you felt very difficult to let go of. And these are past things, things that people, perhaps you were painting everyone with the same kind of brush um, in comparison to what you've been through. But that's um, that's something that's going to change. We've got two aces here. Again, this is something new. New ideas, yeah? It's new ideas. It's a new way of being even, Taurus, let's say that. But you've definitely got new ideas. These new ideas that you have, yeah, will open up a lot of opportunities for you. Perhaps you're seeing a lot more opportunities now that you are not blocked and you've released some past energy there. Let's see you on. Oh, gosh. So we've got the Four of Wands in reverse. And that comes straight across the four of Wands. One more card for Taurus, please. One more. Okay, we'll take it. We also have the Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. So some, again, something's coming to an end. This could very well be a marriage here somebody that you thought was possibly even your twin flame your soulmate that is yeah it, it's not going to continue it's come right after the 10 of wands it's something that's very hard for you to release yeah it could be a marriage doesn't have to be but um more than likely a very strong connection then this could even be um just a commitment here something traditional or traditional way of being with somebody then but that's coming to an end your guards are up there it's no longer kind of receiving this energy here it's in reverse so something's not going well or coming to an end something's definitely coming to an end there and your guards are up against that it's like you've got a massive wall yeah it's like no 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 i'm gonna hold on to my one wand until i get you know, that mutual connection, that fire, that love, that's just uh, give, give an equal give and receive, equal give and take. Yeah, let's read on. That's interesting there because it's almost as if somebody's, you're going to meet somebody who's at the same level as you, more than likely being through what you've been through. Yeah, let's read on. We have the King of Swords, as I said, somebody that may have been through what you have been through. And the King of Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The King of Swords is honest yeah? and states and doesn't, there's no corners cut with this person. It's straight down the line, like I've been where you have been. This could very well be that energy that is empowering you, showing you the way to be. Because they too have been on the same path that you have, yeah very similar you can't can't always be exactly the same when it's never going to be isn't it but you know the, the the outcome is the feelings and stuff like that so yeah a very honest person about to come your way oh i don't know what that one they said yeah okay <clears throat> sorry guys just dropped a few cards again so we have the full one more for please and we also have, no, nope, not that one, sorry, far too many. There we go, seven of pentacles. This person, and I want to say that again, notice how it dropped directly onto the king of swords. This person is looking back on the things that they have been through and how similar they are to yours. There's a reason why you will meet this person, yeah? Definitely a reason, whatever they have, um, and perhaps this is how they explain it to you. They have reaped what they sowed. You know, if you're in a situation and there's some things that are happening and you continue, you don't address these things and they continue to happen. That's allowing things to happen. Yeah. So perhaps this person is telling you about yourselves in a sense. It's almost as if what you allow to happen will continue. So it's up to you to make that change, take that leap of faith into something new. Have a new beginning for yourself. But I, I'm... I'm going to assume that it's this with this person here, with this King of Swords energy. This a, a very honest, genuine person. No corners cut. What you see is what you get. You know, let's get you an outcome here, Taurus. Okay. 
turned the wrong way. Let's get those sorted. Sorry. Here we are. We have the lovers. So the bond will deepen with this person. We have the lovers. We have the three of cups. And we have, there you go. You've met your match. You've met your match. In return, all you can do is be honest. Okay. Um, definitely, the Queen of Swords definitely has some, um, I want to say, unexpressed emotions. As well as there being sensitive emotions. But this person is quite understanding. And I think they call you out on this. So for you to look back on the past. Yeah. For you to look back. And maybe that's what puts you in to hermit mode. Okay. I need to change. But then, you know, you take that leap. You take that leap. The bond deepens with this person. The more you understand yourself, the more you will understand them. And I think it just pulls you in closer and closer together. Something to celebrate here with the three of cups. Perhaps this is you and your friend saying, oh my gosh, you know, I've met the one finally. And, and starting to explain. Because I feel like this hermit mode is, 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 is being quite, it's going to be for quite some time. There's lots of understanding to gain about yourselves here. Yeah. And as I said, the Queen of Swords, definitely unexpressed emotions. And sensitive ones as well. You wield this sword. Yeah? Again, this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you wield this sword here, Taurus, um, to cover up these sensitive emotions. May even be quick-witted. Very, um, you know, someone said something that affects your emotions in some way. You're quick-witted in that sense. You might come up with something sarcastic or something. But it's, it's very clear to this person that you are hiding something there within your emotional field. Let's get you um, an oracle card. Let's see what the oracle has to say for you today. Okay, that was pretty quick. And we have divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. That's the hermit there. Trust your inner guidance. It's leading you to fulfillment. There we go. King and queen of swords. And the two of cups, mutual energy. Yeah? So the feelings are mutual. We even got the lovers again. That's Gemini energy. Perhaps you're connecting with a Gemini. There's been lots of air energy in your reading today. That's very possible. I think we get you one more as well. Okay, so we got three. We'll take it. Ceremonies and celebrations. Come on. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. So as I said, something to celebrate. There will be something to celebrate. Um, eventually things don't happen overnight guys so you know it will take its time we also have spiritual protection you are being watched over and protected physically emotionally and energetically so have no fear do what needs to be done even in your time of being a hermit going within you are protected and trust the signs that you are getting while you are in that space your health Happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. So go easy on yourselves here, guys. Yeah. And if you do have any of these crystals, we've got sapphire, chariot, I think I'm saying that right, emerald and aqua marine. Perhaps these will be of help to you at this time here, Taurus. But yes, that has been your reading. Thank you once again for tuning in. Um, please do take what resonates and leave whatever doesn't. Don't force anything to fit with your situation, guys. Um, yes, my readings do not replace any medical or professional advice you may have received. Um, do give me a thumbs up if the reading has resonated for you. And for those of you that haven't subscribed already, feel absolutely free to do so. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys, and take care. Until next time.